I'm Mir. I'm Sophia. Guys, we are back with the Radioactive Dilemma Chernobyl. Make sure you smash that like button for Chernobyl like y'all usually do. And comment and subscribe to join us on our journey. And listen, don't forget to check our Patreon. We have full length movie and show reactions, no sync required, and it's only one subscription. So don't forget to check that out. And let's get right into it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I thought they died. You no, know, do you think like something bad had happened to them? I definitely, I mean, I definitely thought it was gonna be worse, but it seemed like it was just a little like the light went off real quick. But I think it just depends on where they Cause it walk. said stop, it said the breathing stopped. They made it seem like they died. Is it possible that the water has already killed them? Yes. Then what? That's the question. I mean, I don't know. What? What now? If they die, what now? Send more people until you fix it? I don't think that's right. You think that's them? Yes. Yeah, but you can see his face. He know they about to die. I mean, they're definitely going to die. But at least give them some sort of reward for their family and stuff like that. You didn't hear what they said. It was 400 rubles. And I forgot to Google how much it that was. It better not be. No, somebody in the comments said it was not. That's not a lot. I know it wasn't. You can see him for 30 minutes. Not a minute more. And you cannot touch him in any way. Do you understand? Yeah. Room 15. They're trying <laughs> to save her. They literally are trying to save her. I don't know if she's aware because so of... far, no, she was in the hospital. She saw the craziness stuff, but surprisingly too, she clearly hasn't been affected either. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Of course. Too late. Yeah. You already touched him. You already gone. gone. Yep. Wait, I mean, what do you expect? But I guess like if she really knew, but then again, it's like when you really love someone, don't they don't care? Yeah, you they don't, don't care. care. Yeah. She thought about it. She remembered, so it's not like she forgot. She she knew. Someone decided that the evacuation zone should be 30 kilometers when we know here, cesium-137 in the Gomel district, that's 200 kilometers away. It was decided. Based on what? I don't know. They were only evacuating 20 people in the 20, 20 kilometer area when people in 200 was detecting it, I think. That's, that's what yeah. he was trying to say. There's a spike in zirconium-95. Cladding on the fuel rods. Meaning what? The meltdown has begun. This is insane. Imagine something like that was to happen again. Yo, something like this happened again. I think we would handle it way better. But he but said the meltdown. Yeah, you remember what so he said. So basically now it's going to start sinking. Basically it's going to melt something that's going to cause the water to erupt and spray it everywhere. Stop Get off him! You're hurting him! You can't be in here. Is there, that's her husband, right? That looked like that was her husband, and it got worse. At first, it, did, it wasn't yeah. looking like that, but it got way worse. I don't want questions. I want to know when this will be over. If you mean when will Chernobyl be completely safe, the half-life of plutonium-239 is 24,000 years, so perhaps we should just say not within our lifetimes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yo, he be really trying to tell them, bro. It's it so makes funny. me think about like it wouldn't even be safe for us to go travel there today, right? Technically, right? Or it wouldn't be a hundred percent safe. What will happen to our boys? Ionizing radiation tears the cellular structure apart. This is followed by a latency period. The immediate effects subside. The patient appears to be recovering. That's exactly what the girl husband was looking like. And what about us? In time, cancer. <laughs> Or a plastic anemia. Either way, fatal. <laughs> That's insane, yeah. bruh. He was, he was, he was been telling y'all this, by the way. Why did it explode? I've worked the numbers over and over. It's not possible. Not yet. Sometimes I feel like our math is wrong. Like, we made up math and stuff like that, but sometimes when we get no answer... And like, then, numbers are made up. It is made up. And then we get an impossible thing that happens. It's like, well, what do you expect? We made the numbers up. I feel like math is 99% true and the other 1% is the skewed possibility. Come on, then. Start shooting. That's yeah, I've got enough bullets for all of us. Kill as many as you can. Whoever's left, 
They'll beat the living piss out of each of you. You can't talk to us like that. Shut the fuck up. Oh my goodness. This is our mine. We don't leave unless we know why. He's trying to get y'all to work at Chernobyl or something. But they can just say that. I mean, I don't think because they as know. much as, but because to me it's like as much as you want their help, be more transparent. Like I don't like this whole idea of like I'm gonna just come up here and tell you people to come work for me. That's insane to me. So, I guess that means. I guess that's a yes. So do they know yeah. that they're about to all die? I don't think so. Horribly. Messing, Yo, like that's crazy. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Even though that's so like such a subtle thing, I'm that's so disrespectful. You know, that's so subtle. The way he just went up there was disrespectful. So, oh my gosh, bro, he looked like he got a freaking. <laughs> he looked like he went near the sun, literally. I think he' about to die. Can see the red square. I don't blame and her though. I don't. It's oh, just she sad. is lying. Yeah, because he's about to die. Oh, wow. Yeah, she definitely lying to make it feel better yeah. for him. And this couple is supposed to represent how, like, what people might have went through, specifically, like, the firefighters and their wives. Yeah. And it's really sad. It is. Give me something else. I'm not a nurse, comrade D, I'd love. I'm a nuclear physicist. That's the Altov. Oh, snap. <clears throat> I didn't even recognize him. Unless you happen to have a butter and caviar sandwich on you, you can get the fuck out of my room. So he still got yeah, the I same it. attitude. I mean, dying doesn't make people better, but yeah, he definitely is still an a hole. I didn't even, yo, that does not look like him. Nothing at all. like him. Nothing. I was like, like who him. is this? She about to ask some questions. He's not going to answer not one yeah, of her questions. Not. It don't seem like. So you have to get at it from underground. And what's above the pad? The core of the nuclear reactor, which is melting down. Is it going to fall on top of us? Not if you're done within six weeks. The fact that that crew chief is in charge of every single one of those persons' lives in this moment, if he say yes or no right now, it's funny. But I mean, that responsibility being on him is still crazy, though. How deep do you want this tunnel? Six meters? Twelve. Uh, at that depth, you'll be shielded from much of the radiation. The entrance to the tunnel won't be 12 meters below ground. I'm not 12 meters below ground, no. Yeah. <laughs> he told him he's not good at lying. And they about to kill like 400 men. Because right now they're already dead. You're around it, you're probably going to, you know, like he said, get cancer in the long run. Yeah. If these worked, you'd be wearing them. I mean, who do you really expect to just sacrifice their life? Just all easily like that. He said, if these work, you'd be wearing them. <laughs> like, they really tried to, they really tried to lie to him, bro. Same thing with COVID. I couldn't be. Dust mm -hmm. all in their lungs. Like, come on, bro. I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. It was like District 12 in Hunger Games. No, I was worse than that. Come I'm not on. doing that, bro. Oh, my goodness. Yo. <laughs> Yo, that is insane. Oh my gosh, that looks wow. No. That looks wow. Oh my gosh. Oh. It isn't safe for you. He's my husband. Not anymore. He's something else now, do you understand? He's dangerous to you. He's burned. <sighs> they don't even understand. She just said he's burned. Yeah, she she clearly like they she don't probably even right get like it. she probably thinking oh my gosh like so many people don't know. Yes, my love. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah! Oh! No! 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 I don't want to look at that, please. Oh. That was the worst one yet. Yeah, that was the worst one. No. He's gone. Gosh, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Oh my. She's pregnant. Gosh. You gotta think. It's not even skin anymore. Oh my gosh. It's the minus. Oh, 
They did say it was hot, but... <laughs> Yo, what the freak? I mean, they did say it was hot. I'm, I don't have no reaction because what do you expect them to do? It's hot as crap in there. Oh, that is insane. I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. <laughs> Why didn't you initiate an emergency shutdown? Why didn't you press the AZ-5 button? I did. Leonid, that's, that's not possible. Yeah, I was like, there ain't no point in him lying right now. Like, why would he, yeah, why would he lie? Basically, the emergency button that they were supposed to press, when they press it, that's what caused it to explode. And basically, that's what happened. I like how she's in disguise, like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with the official Chernobyl Commission. I've been authorized by Valery Lagasov. You can check this. My name is Ulan. We know who you are. What is everyone gonna hear? Nothing. <laughs> so they must. Nothing now. So they. So okay. So maybe I was right. The wife probably think he just burned from a fire, but not from radioactivity. What? That is what she said. That is what she thinks. She thinks what? That he burned. By fire, but not by a radioactivity. Oh, I don't know. But still, it's the fact that... I mean, radiation. They just, oh, my gosh. It's the fact that they just call, they just straight call her. But remember how nobody's even supposed to know? Right, that's what I'm saying. Straight call her. Professor Ligasov will now speak about the work that remains. <laughs> it's like, as soon as he speaks, everything just gets worse. Because nobody wants to hear it. Yeah, because all you're going to do is spit facts. So we will have to raise entire forests. We will have to rip up the top layer of earth and bury it under itself, oh. approximately 100 square kilometers. They're not doing all that. Well, we know what they did. Because you can see Chernobyl. They didn't build a box around it, I think. I don't know what they did. But it is barren. So they evacuated a lot of people, but I don't think they did all that. Begin at once. Yeah. Oh, he said begin. I right. like him though. I like that he's at least, you know, trying and not just being like, no, we can't do it, you know? Yes, people are following you. People are following those people. And you see that? They follow me. <laughs> oh my gosh. You really don't trust us? Of course I do. Trust but verify. Good day, Professor. <laughs> uh, I thought it was other people following them. But that was his, that was the KGB following him yeah. when it was on that walk. And I, I didn't know that, so. Valeri, Akimov, his face was gone. Oh, that's why, why, that's why they didn't show him. They both agreed they were adamant. They think it's possible. I think it makes no sense. I, I think it's what I would say if I was trying to cover my own mistakes. Mm. We have to. Pursue every possibility, no matter how unlikely. Okay, so there's clearly more to the story. I'm saying, but that's what I'm saying. The KGB following them. They're trying to do stuff they're not supposed to. Everybody's trying to follow different things and do things they got, they not said supposed they got to. A, they said that they got to re-interview them. They gonna have to re-interview them because people are lying. You don't know the story. Nobody was there. Like that's what I'm saying. This whole explosion is just causing a whole <laughs> lot of people to do all these like. Because she's not supposed to be in that hospital interviewing them. But hey, imagine she didn't. How are we going to ever get the truth? I feel like in situations like these, does rules really apply anymore? Who am I to judge? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this are, this are the people that they hire into work Probably. at Chernobyl? All these Bad. young young men that haven't even lived their lives? That's so sad. Because, mm. yeah, because yeah. they're contaminated, so you can't really put them in a regular... They can't even be in the cemetery. I think they got to get burned. Oh, my God. So this is what y'all meant by episode three is going to break us? Because I get it. This is horrible. It seems like as the aftermath continues, it gets worse and worse. Basically. Like, I thought it would be getting better and better. Like, they'd be solving it, but no. Yeah, it seems like we're not getting closer to the answer, and worse things are happening. They're not even doing it in dirt. They're burying them in concrete, bro. That's how dangerous it is. This is really sad. Wow. It's sad, 
because wow. when it comes down to people who's in the higher <sighs> positions, how they were more, how they blindly was doing things that caused more people to lose their lives. Like, you got to do what you got to do, right? But throwing people away blindly, is that really helping anything? No. No, no exactly. that's not. That's why I said you got to do what you got to do. I didn't say it was right. I didn't say it was but, something I agreed to. But doing what you have to do is contradicting what you're saying. Saying I got to do what I got to do is basically saying like, well, despite all that, you have to still send people out and try. That's what no. you're saying. Yeah, but I'm saying what they're doing. I'm saying they're doing... Yeah, because I wasn't saying for me. I was saying they're doing what they have to do. And he said he didn't like doing it, but this thing is not... <laughs> it's not a joke. This is, bro, this is insane, guys. This is very insane. This is insane. I, it's, it's to this... Like, even just learning about this, it's like, wow. Right. Like, it's literally a history lesson. I like it, though. Yeah. I like it. Uh, Learn a lot of stuff about I'm surprised the, the Altov is still alive. Like, Well, not for long. And honestly, too, I, like, it's crazy because, like, I feel like when we find out how it happened, it's going to be so crazy. Cause I the, wonder if we do figure out how it happened. I'm pretty sure we are. I don't want to look it up, though. I, I want to, but I'm not going to. Because I want to see if we do figure it out. Because they talked about, they hinted, they hinted towards that a lot. And I believed them, too, when they said, oh, I pressed the stop button and it blew up. Or what if they didn't? But now that she, you know, was saying, like, oh, it's impossible and stuff. And maybe they lied, but I want to believe them. Maybe they did lie. But my thing Because is when she was walking lie? away, he was like, I did everything right. He said, I did everything right. So was he saying that because he thought he really did everything right and pressed the exit and it still blew up? But my thing or... is, it's like, no, those were the two that was, remember, those were the two where I think the Altov sent down to turn the things, if you remember. Yeah, but no, they was in the control and when room they, when, they blew when up, though. I know, but like the last time we saw them before like the blisters got all over them, one of them was saying... It's all our fault. Yeah, and the other that one too, said, that too. And the other one said, "No, we just followed directions," which is to me kind of hinting towards maybe they didn't press the button. Because I feel like Dialto was so pressed on this reactor, he probably said, "Don't press the button because it's gonna destroy it." Not like destroy it in the in the. Basically, I feel like Dialto told him to not press it because he felt like he could have found another way to stop it. No, they we're, we're definitely gonna figure it out at the end. No, we gotcha. we're gonna figure it out. I think I think we figure out what happens, and I because I'm only saying that because in the very beginning, when the guy committed suicide, in the very beginning, he was blaming him. Yeah, DLO, he was blaming. Him. He was like, he caused this. He did this. He should be sentenced to this. After the fact that he already probably died, DLO, you know. Mm, I don't know, cause he wasn't really in the. He wasn't like really in the thing. Like he got affected, probably just like him. Like he's gonna get sick, but I don't know. Cause the way he was talking about him, the way he was looking, no the way. didn't even look like him. He was gone. He was a little dying. Oh, you're right. He didn't even look like him, bro. He was gone. He was saying he probably deserved worse because of what he did. So I'm I'm assuming that I'm pretty sure we're gonna find out. No, we gonna find out, but I'm just assuming that obviously he did something wrong based off of that. I feel like he um, told them to not click it, and they just didn't click it. We could look, we could predict all day, but at the end of the day, we know he did. It's probably something that he did. We know it's something he did. Come on now. I have a job. Don't cause trouble. Trouble? You're not the first soldier to stand here with a gun. When I was twelve, the revolution came. Oh wow. Right, <clears throat> she eighty two. She's seen World War One, World War Two. She did. Nineteen eighty six. She's eighty two. She's seen both wars. Oh wow! After all that I have seen, so I should leave now because of something I cannot see at all. You gotta understand where she's coming from. You cannot help everyone. Oh wow! Oh, wow. No, I feel like that's. I feel like that was like unnecessary. Let's see what he what he's getting at. Let's see where he's getting at. Cause she had a thousand mile stare. She's seen it all. Did he just kill himself? He killed the he killed the cow. Oh wow. You know, during these Soviet Union times, it was it was rough. They were very for, they were very forceful. Yo, that was a crazy intro. This show was interesting, man. Do you Yo, think he was right? Was crazy. Was doing, was killing, do you think he was right for killing the <sighs> 
for killing the the cow? No, that's just dumb being really forceful because if someone you can't help everyone. I if feel like right. I feel like someone there, don't want to leave. Right, leave they go on. die regardless. She was eighty two years old. She's seen everything. Just let her be. That stuff is no, that's but I mean, crazy. how is it still? It still looks pretty alive for it to like still have radiation. I would have thought like all oh, the crops would have died. Radiation is clearly they're showing how it's very apparent everywhere, yeah. But right, where, where's the you know, where's ground zero? I want to, I want to see, yeah. Like, did they what did they do? Even our lunar rovers won't work on Marsha. An amount of gamma radiation penetrates everything, the particles literally shred the circuits and microchips apart. So what I'm hearing is Masha is. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something funny, but <laughs> funny. We're in, in a serious situation I right know, now. I know. All oh, right, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> Masha is standing on business. <laughs> is what I'm hearing. It seems like they're still dealing with the problem. I think those are the guys who volunteered. They were. It was. I remember because I remember his face. Yeah, it, I, I'm pretty sure it was. Oh my gosh, I, I, not gonna, I did not expect that. Please. Is this them pooping? Yeah, that was. That looks very uncomfortable. What unit were you in? Uh, they had me in Motopool in Kiev, but then they- Not this bullshit. In Afghanistan. I'm not in the military. Uh, that's insane. I'm saying it's insane that they think that they're sending military. But no, there's literally just sending random people. We make these from let's grab. Put it on under your balls. Over your clothes. Fucking shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I thought he meant in his pants too. So I can't really blame him for that one. But still, I will, you just gonna pull down your pants like that? We've seen worse things in this show. He just said Armenian. So I'm confused. Because if they're in Ukraine right now... Why it seem like they have a whole bunch of different like people from different countries? You're done. Oh, that's the rover. I don't know why I didn't notice. Okay, I like this. Seems like their plan is working. What? Hmm? Did he get better? That's the Altov. Remember how you looked last time? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm just confused because. Remember how you looked last time? I mean, I don't know. I didn't know he was gonna survive. Did he recover? Like, probably still got cancer or something. But did he like? Is he not gonna? It's the fact that he's still acting like an a-hole. Can you confirm that the reactor exploded after they attempted to shut it down? How do I even know it exploded, huh? Because you're in the hospital right now and you're not at work. He's playing tough right now. <laughs> you go act like you not see it. Right, you don't act like you just see that picture, buddy. No, you think the right question will get you the truth. There's no truth. Ask the bosses whatever you want, you'll get the lie. And I will get the bullet. Yeah. So he's worried about... Yeah, it's tough, man. People were saying that in the comments. It's not easy. You can't just blurt out what happened. They will kill you. I like they was gonna kill him regardless. Like in the Soviet Union, you make a mistake like that, they will kill you if it gets out. Like you don't say you, you don't say, you don't say nothing. Like you don't just you just don't say nothing. So I feel like because I did see people in the comments saying that, but I feel like if that's really the case, then in the show they're projecting it in the wrong way. Right, like look how you're holding a gun. Yeah. Like point it down, buddy. Even I know that. You point a gun down. <laughs> He holding it up like this. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. I didn't oh, think it was like dogs like that that they had to kill. My thing is, do he even... Well, I'm not going to ask because he clearly don't even look like he know how to use a gun. Oh. Hey, do your job. Door to door. I thought they were, even though it's sad either way, I kind of thought they were talking about wild animals, but those dogs look like they maybe had an owner before, and they're just killing all the, like, every single pet animal that's left over. Yeah. Which is kind of, that's... Very oh, desensitizing. That's, yeah, it's really... Oh, wow. Keep shooting it. He said, don't let it, like, yeah, bro. Yeah, don't let it suffer. 
Like, at least, come on now. Yeah, uh, unless it was a good shot, but I'm just saying. I think something bad is about to happen. He literally said, don't let them don't suffer. Let them suffer. Don't let them suffer. Oh, man. Hmm. Maybe they should have gave him a different duty. Our goal is the happiness of all mankind. Yeah. Look at that symbolism. Mm. That's the title of the episode. Our goal is the happiness of all mankind. Mm. And look at what they out there doing. What's here? A new robot? I think that's what it is. Welcome to Alice Diamond, Joker. Is it ready? It's ready. So what the Joker does is an intellectual machine. They're going to drop on top of the roof. And it's going to take the pieces of graphite that they can't push off and throw it off into a dumpster. Are you for real? No, I have no idea what's going to happen. And then after it's done, it's going to look for Batman. I knew he was going to do that. Why is it like he just clicking stuff? Yo, the yo, the Joker suck. As in, like it wasn't charged or like. So they graphite. dropped it. So so they dropped it near some more graphite on the roof. Of course, I know they're listening. I want them to hear. I want them. And it shut it completely off. All oh, right, cause that can. Because can't graphite, like, radioactivity can mess with signals and stuff like that? They told the Germans that the highest detected level of radiation was 2,000 Rundgen. They gave them the propaganda number. That robot was never going to work. If they actually told them how much rogaton of radiation there was, then they might have got a better <laughs> robot. <laughs> Almost what? Rogatons. <laughs> Buy a robot. What was that? We use bio robots. Ben. Right, all right, I'm about to say that's it sounds like you're saying <sighs> animals, like people. Send more men in there. I mean, cause what can you do? It yo, it's like that's what they always resort to. Just Ask send the in Americans. people. <gasps> yo, whoever loves dogs. Whoever loves dogs, like, they would hate watching this. Yeah. I hope y'all not, like, uh, disappointed in me and Sophie's reaction. Like, we we definitely realize it's sad. It's just, I feel like, because real puppy lovers, they'd be, like, they'd be, like, crying and stuff like that. Yeah. But, like, y'all, this is, like, come on. This is messed up. Like, no you, no way you, you could put... Oh, oh wow. wow. Oh, my gosh. Yo, that just, that just, uh, yeah, that stopped me right not, in my yeah, tracks. That like, not good, that was not a good sight. That like just it. stopped me right in my tracks. Wow. Um, because of the nature of the working area, you will each have no more than 90 seconds to solve this problem. 90 seconds? You're st still gonna be affected by it, I think. I hope what, because you know, if they're gonna be moving stuff, they shouldn't be touching it. I think they're gonna touch it. I don't know why they give them like something like shovels to possibly like push it. Like oh, they do. Thing. They do give them shovels. They do. He is. He, he, yeah, he, he's struggling. He he is panicking. He's not doing so well. I can't really blame him, but he's not doing so hot. And he said, "Don't look over." They never show us it. That's what I'm saying. They never, like, they never stay on it for a long time, at least to my knowledge. I don't think they did. I mean, the most that we saw is when it was shooting up. Remember the first time? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, His foot. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, you're done. You're done. Yeah, you're done, buddy. Your your boot cut open. 
And it was touching that so rock. They, so what are they going to do? I mean, the graphite. Yeah, I mean, yo, you can't they just like, because you know, like, they said when you get infected, if you just cut it off real quick, like it's not going to spread through your whole body. I mean, it's either that or you die. I'm just saying. They're already being affected by it. Uh, 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 no, not, not her giving, not her water breaking right there. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie, but like, I would not be pregnant and outside <laughs> in the cold. But yeah, she they need to take her to the hospital. And They're fast. definitely going to show us the baby and there's going to be something wrong because she was all around her husband. Even though that's her husband, she was all around him, touching him, hugging, hugging, hugging him. She could have, you know, been a little more safer. A little more safe. Yeah. Safer? Safer is a word? Am I tripping? Safer is a word. The floor will not lead to an explosion unless... The operators have pushed the reactor to the edge of disaster. So it is their fault? Yes. But not only their fault. No. Wow. So who else fault is it? I'm not going to. We're both not about to act like we understood everything that was said because we're not scientists. We're reactors. Yeah. But. It was like the reactor that blew up. <laughs> what we do know is that what he said is. In simple terms, they pressed the button. They didn't know that it was going to happen. They were warned 10 years ago, and they didn't listen. What you're proposing is that Legasso humiliate a nation that is obsessed with not being humiliated. If I'm being honest, if that's how you save people, then that's how you save people. Because she just said there's other reactors out there that that can happen yeah. with. Like, forget about humiliating people like, bro. Well, it's different. It's the Soviet Union. Man, listen. She gave birth. A girl. The baby lived for four hours. They said the radiation would have killed the mother, but the baby absorbed it instead. Oh, wow, that's what happened? Yo, that's crazy. To hell with our lives. I get what she's saying, though. Someone has to start telling the truth. I get what she's saying, though. It's like, if it comes to the idea, like, I have to lose my life to save millions, then so be it. Oh, wow, they did clear all of it off, though. So you definitely could say mission was successful in that sense. That's what he just said. Yeah. She she lost she lost her baby. That's crazy. The only baby she would have had with him, too. The only baby she would have had with him. Mm, I was going to say, that's interesting, though. So, like, the radiation didn't affect her because... That is interesting. It, she, yeah. it, the baby absorbed it. But that makes sense because when you're having a baby, the baby takes in a lot of what you... You know what I'm saying? No, a lot that's of what you true. have. No, no, that's true, but still the whole mechanism mm, that's crazy. is still very like mm -mm -mm. But yeah, I definitely do feel bad because like mm -mm -mm. I think her baby was gonna die right there and then. I thought it was gonna be something else, but that definitely is still sad. Compare definitely, Ooh. definitely, Ooh. uh I would say, even though the last episode was, was sad, this one this one didn't get better. Like, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? So, well, at least so they clear the roof. Worse. They clear the roof. Like, it it definitely seems like they're getting... It's funny because the... Well, it's not funny, but it's crazy because the nuclear reactor part mm -hmm. is like they're, okay, we're starting to, starting to figure it out a little bit now. Starting to, you know what I'm saying? But then outside of that, everything else, people dealing with it, you know, uh, dogs and animals and farmers and old ladies and... Dealing with the government, all that is now going down. Yeah, I feel, you know? but so, I think we knew that since the beginning, just based on what was going on when it first blew up. They weren't even trying to, they could have been evacuated all those people and they didn't. So I feel like it's just further showing overall when it comes down to like the Soviet Union, how they go about yes, when it yes, comes to these type of matters, yeah. they don't want any, like they rather die knowing what really happened compared to anybody else knowing. Now, speaking of that, we're about to see on the next, next episode how the Soviet Union reacts. Gonna do well, how they react to them or, or, or if they tell the truth or not, which I'm pretty sure they did because we all know about what happened, right? We all know about Chernobyl. The whole world knows about it. Well, yeah, I know, but so like... I'm pretty sure they told the truth. But wouldn't they kill you right there and then? That's basically what the, the that general guy was saying. Because that professor, we saw he killed himself. He recorded himself 
saying something. Why I don't do you, know. Why do you think in the also, beginning I said that guy was watching was him also, and he was about to kill him? Why you say, why you think I said that? But it was that? also showing how Professor, um, the professor, he's getting better with lying. Remember, he he kept telling the general, like, oh, I'm not good at lying. I feel like he's kind of, not, I don't want to say like he's playing both sides, but he's thinking, like, I feel like instead of him just instantly going off with his gut instantly, like, okay, let me just tell the truth. No, my life can end right here and then. I feel like he's not going to tell the complete truth. And that's why he ended up doing that recording later on. And I feel like the lady, that's she's going to be mad. Because, yeah. Well, the this world is definitely the, the world crazy. Is, the world eventually figures out, but we'll see what happens in the next Right, like how it happened and, yeah. It's the, the final stuff. episode. So, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you're enjoying our Chernobyl reaction. And we will see y'all. On the next one. Perfect. Thank you.